So uh, uh, last year we had done um, a conversation like this as well, which was really very good because it helped me learn about you know, what they're doing and how they're growing and, and really what's happening with the business. And uh, at that time, I know that you have been implementing some MROs, but could I dig in a little bit deeper so people can understand a little bit more about what you're doing? When you say you've started MROs, now what do you really mean by that, first of all, specifically? Yeah, so Spirit Legacy, we had we were repairing, you know, 777 and 37 nacelles in Wichita. Um, and then through acquisitions up to the end of, you know, maybe 2021, we started, we had, you know, a Belfast operation, we had a Morocco operation, uh, a Dallas operation, you know, but essentially kind of doing the same things, you know, repairing the cells and flight control services in red homes for 737s, uh, 777s, A320s, A330s. But, you know, it was those four regions, right? So maybe Americas and Belfast and a JV in Taiwan. That wasn't enough because there was a big part of Europe and Asia that was all untouched. Uh, and everything needed in all the units or any damages from there needed to go to either the US or Belfast for repairs. So what we did in the last year is, uh, you know, signed up about four different partnerships with GMR in India, with Gamico uh, in China, with Joramco in Jordan, and we uh, got an FAA certificate for our Morocco facility. So that now, if you look at the equator and you look at where our operations are, we really have tooling and the ability to serve the same platforms in eight or nine different repair centers mm. um, all around the world. And so now, you know, no airline needs to really ship any unit across the waters anymore. They can really truck uh, their units to one of our repair centers and we'll be there to do the work for them. Okay, well, I'm seeing a couple of things here that are, that are important for me to understand when I'm trying to understand a business. Number one, you've actually started some MROs where you're doing, you know, maintenance, typical MRO activity. And then you've also partnered with some MROs that exist out there to be able to support them in the execution of some of the things that you would normally do in an MRO. So you're doing both MROs and supporting MROs to be able to create a much broader right. you know, maintenance activity. Okay, perfect. That's really good. I, I think it's exciting. I'm really glad to hear that.